everyone. So today we are at Anthony Lakes in Oregon. We're going to do a day hike while we're here. It's a combination of a few different trails, so I'll kind of point them out as we go along. Um, but I'm excited to kind of see what the area is like and explore a bit. So the first trail we're on is Black Lake Trail. This just started from the campsite we were at and it should pretty soon connect to the actual trail that we want to be on. So our first stop on this hike is Lily Pad Lake and this was just right at the beginning of our hike. Well here's a bridge that very clearly collapsed, so hopefully that's not the trail we were supposed to be on. Todd said that maybe this floods here and that you have to use the bridge to cross, so that's a good thought. I don't know. So we were just talking about whether there are bears in this area or not. At the campground, there weren't the social trash cans, there's just a normal trash can. So we were kind of thinking no, and we started on this hike. And this dog was making noise, just like moving, and it was black. So it scared the crap out of Todd and I because we thought it was a bear for a second, but it was just a dog. So the map was a bit confusing on all trails. It says that this hike is a loop on a hiking project. It says it isn't. So the area we're kind of confused about was going to be at the end of the hike. So if we were wrong and it wasn't a loop, we were going to have to hike like 16 miles compared to eight. So we decided to turn around and go the other way first so that the area we're concerned about will come earlier in the hike. And just so we can just turn around if we can't access the other trail needed to make it a loop. So. We hiked about half a mile back and now we're going to start on this trail, which I believe is Hoffer Lake. So we'll see if that connects to, I think it's called Crawfish Basin um, Trail and then we'll just kind of go from there. This looks really safe. Todd made it, so. Oh, jeez. It's all good. We made it. I feel like we need to go this way, but I kind of want to go this way. So it looks really cool. So we'll have to look at the map and figure out what we're supposed to do. Alright, so this trail is super uphill. Been going up for a while. Hoping we get a good view out of this. This is really, really steep. So we made it to Hoffer Lake, and this is absolutely beautiful. It's a great view. I think it was worth the uphill climb to get here. So we're not very far into our hike, but we're both really hungry, so this seems like a good lunch spot. So we're going to stop for a few minutes, take a break, eat some lunch, and then get back at it.
We got lost for a few minutes, but figured out where we're going again. Thank God for the hiking project app because it works offline. And it's really nice. We don't have any service right now. Don't be this person. So there's people at the top of this mountain. So I wonder if that's where we're gonna end up. We'll see. So we should almost be done with this part of the hike off our lake trail. And then hopefully we're gonna be able to connect to the Crawfish Basin Trail. Um, this is a trail that Someone commented on one of my other videos, recommended. I believe they were adventures with Sammy. So hopefully we'll get to try that one out and see how it is. So we think we maybe found the way we need to go. It's very steep. Well, if this is the wrong way. It's got some great views, so I'm not complaining. But this is pretty cool. So if you're wondering how we got here, we went to the edge, the end of the Hoffer Lake trail and then turned left. And then this was on the left hand side. So we're at about 7,800 feet, so we're pretty high right now. We think we know which way to go, but some awesome views anyway. So you can actually see the lake all the way down there, which is really cool. Some great views up here. So this is not the way we're supposed to be going, but we're really curious what's up here. So we're gonna check it out real quick. So we to the top, there's both ski lift, and a yurt. Let's go check it out. So here's the ski lift. There's not a lot up here though, which is interesting. So I don't know if you can see this, but there's like a little mini tornado right now. I'm not sure what is happening. Oh my God, that's so weird. <laughs> yeah, so no idea what the heck that was. Might have just been the winds coming from different directions and just forming mini tornado. I don't know, it was weird. Todd's trying to figure out if we can see like Mount Hood and Mount Rainier and stuff from here but I don't think we can. Okay, so now we are heading the way that will hopefully lead us to the Crawfish Basin Trail. We shall see. So apparently there's a sign saying that these trees are like this due to some beetle. So it's kind of crazy that a little beetle can cause this much, much damage. 
Okay, so we are now on Crawfish Basin Trail. So we found it. So if you go the opposite way we did, it's probably much more obvious where you have to go. We just didn't want to chance it because we didn't want to end up doing like 16 miles today. But if you do go the way we go, once you get off the Hoffman Lake Loop, go left and then on your left a little ways up the path will be another path up the mountain. Go that way. So far this crawfish basin trail has some pretty awesome views. I'm liking it so far. So we're almost done with the crawfish basin portion of the trail. Just did a bunch of switchbacks. And then it looks like once we get to the top of this mountain, we're just gonna be going down, which for most people might sound fun, but hurts my toes. So might not be so fun. Todd almost tripped. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. Overall, there are really great views on this trail. Todd says I use the word views too much. So if anyone has a nice synonym for the word views, let me know in the comments. All right. Three miles to Anthony Lake. Ooh.
part here is really cool with the boulders, the rockiness of the mountain. There's supposedly supposed to be some mountain goats in the area. We haven't seen any yet, but I can see why they would hang out in this area. So a couple things to mention about this hike. Um, elevation change is actually not too bad. I didn't think it was too difficult or anything. Just a couple places that were really uphill, but actually surprisingly, a lot of flat areas. Nothing too technical you have to do. Uh, I would say the only more difficult part is on the Elkhorn Ridge Trail. There's a lot of rocks that kind of slow you down a bit, but Nothing too difficult. We didn't have any problems or anything. Um, some areas are a bit sunny, depending on what time of day you go. But all in all, great hike. Um, I would say probably more on the, the moderate side. It ended up being about 8.3 miles, but nothing crazy. One more thing to mention is that it is $4 for a day pass to hike here. Um, I believe it's only $2 if you have the America the Beautiful Pass. We forgot ours because we're not used to having to pay to hike. We're from Ohio. It's all free there, so we forgot ours, but only had to pay $2 more, so not a big deal. But just to mention, there's a tree there, but <laughs> just to mention you do have to pay. Um, you can also camp here. There's a lot of camping areas, stuff like that. So, Hey everyone, so we finished our hike. Just to give you guys an idea of what we did, we started at Anthony Lakes in the Wallowa Whitman National Forest in Oregon. Then we went on Hoffman Lake Trail, then to Crawfish Basin Trail, and then Elkhorn Ridge Trail, and then finally Black, Black Lake Trail. Sorry, that was a lot to remember. Uh, but fantastic mountain mountain views, lots of lakes and ponds and all that fun stuff. Um, it was about 8.3 miles total. We did a bit more because we had gone back at the beginning and then we went up to the, the yurt and the ski area. But all in all, a great hike. Um, like I said, lots of fantastic views. And it was mostly secluded, so that was nice. Not a lot of people um, passing on the trail or anything like that. But I just want to say thanks to Adventures with Sammy for recommending this area to us. It was beautiful and we had a great time. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.